This is Rob Tubber for Boxing Social here in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined by the still unbeaten Hopi Price. We're here down at Fight Camp. Hopi, first and foremost, congratulations on your win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Obviously, we haven't had time to go back and look at it, but how did you feel when you were in there? Um, I haven't had time to look at it, but I felt it was a good performance. Um, my coach is happy, and that's all what matters. I'm happy. If he's happy, I'm happy, so I believe it was a good performance. Your coach is happy. Dave Caldwell, of course, to my side here. I know you've uh, tried to... Well, did you actually get to look at the shot in the end? You looked at the shot that dropped him uh, at the end of the fight, the last shot of the fight. What an absolute peach. Yeah, you know, it's something we've been working on in the gym, and um, I believe I was setting that shot up from, from round one, and uh, I caught him bang at the end of the six and uh, most people don't know but this was scheduled to be an eight rounder and uh, it got changed on, on their side at last minute yesterday so I believe obviously if it was eight rounds uh, he wouldn't have made it to the final bell. Now obviously we've spoken in the past about the high level sparring that you've been getting we know that you've sparred many rounds with Barry Kid Galahad ahead of uh, his fight with Jazza Dickens just how beneficial is that and how much are you feeling the benefit when you're in the ring on fight night? It's, it's massive you know for my development and uh, a big thank you to all these world class fighters who's, who's allowed me to spar and, and learn from uh, Kid Galahad, Jordan Gill, Liam Woodstock and uh, Reese Bullock who boxed tonight um, I've had sparring with them all in the, in the past couple of months and uh, I believe it's brought me on leaps and bounds of fighter because uh, they're a lot higher level opposition than anyone fighting so now I'm stepping up on the fighting these unbeaten kids like tonight and the kids with a few more fights who are fighting next and uh, it's paying off. I spoke to Dave uh, briefly before we started the interview he said something very interesting um, where he said that he wants you to keep boxing like it's a 10 or 12 rounder every time just explain that a little bit and how that impacts on your performance when you're in there. Um, it was something that started from all the way back in my debut where I was only doing a four rounder and uh, you see most of these young prospects coming trying to blast kids out at 100 mile an hour and uh, I didn't do that in my debut and uh, I come back and I said, was you happy? And he said, yeah, he said, because I want you to be a world-class fighter. He said, and the world-class fighter is over 12 rounds. And uh, I box the same if it's four rounds, six rounds, eight rounds, 10 rounds or 12 rounds, you know. Um, boxing in, in the way I box and, and breaking fighters down, I believe, as I step up in the future, then the longer the rounds get, I think that's when you'll start seeing me taking more fighters out and at championship level. Quick turnaround, back in the ring on the Warrington Lara 2 undercard in Yorkshire. First and foremost, what a great card to be on. Definitely unbelievable. Uh, back in my hometown, uh, first time since, since being a kid and uh, a lot of Leeds fighters on the show and uh, it's going to be massive. 20,000 fans back, it's, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, you've had a quite interesting career. Obviously, we, uh, we were out in Saudi, which feels like another lifetime ago anyway, before the world fell off. But yeah, it must be great to get back in your hometown in front of your home fans. Yeah, it's something um, I didn't really get to do as a kid. I think I had me. It might have been my second amateur fight and I must have been 11 years old and that's the last time I boxed in Leeds so it's going to be good to go back and have that bit of home support for once and uh, I think we've missed the support anyways because of Covid so I believe the place is going to be roaring as you know Leeds has got one of the best fan bases in the world so it's going to be unbelievable that night. It certainly does. Uh, before I let you go, quick prediction on that fight, Josh Warrington versus Mauricio Lara, how's it uh, going? I believe Josh Warrington's got a stick to his boxing more this time, he, he can't box the same fight as he did as we know Lara's a, Lara's a dangerous puncher and uh, he can't afford to stand there with Lara and fight fire with fire. So I believe if he boxes smart, then Josh wins the fight. OK, hope you prize. Always a pleasure. Thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Congratulations on another impressive performance. Yeah.